Question. Is there a difference between the Doc Martens made in England versus the Doc Martens made in Asia? As we know it, the first pair of Doc Martens was made in England in 1960. In the early 2000s, they moved the manufacturing to Asia because the company was almost bankrupt and it was cheaper to make their products over there. Currently, over 90% of its inventory is made in Asia. So the question is, is the Asian Doc Martens better than the made in England Doc Martens? The price has gone up with inflation, but has the quality remained the same as that long lasting durable boots? The company said the leather has not changed and the production standards have not slipped. The material suppliers has not changed for decades and there's a stringent quality control. All of this could be true, but it's like a parent. Some parents, they think of their child as an angel. Their child could do no bad. Over the years, a lot of customers have been complaining that their quality in their Doc Martens have dropped. Personally, I haven't experienced any differences. My Made in England and my Made in Asia Doc Martens, all of them, they're pretty much the same. I mean, maybe it's because I haven't put on any Doc Martens that were made in the early 2000s or in the 90s, 80s, or none of that. So my current collection is all Doc Martens from what, 10, 2010s and above. So maybe there was a difference back then, but for me personally, I haven't noticed a big difference. I'm pretty sure they did that on purpose. Also, I'm sure that they're making everything the same. So when that happens, are they cutting corners to make sure that everything is the same? It could be equally as bad or equally better. That's the biggest concern that I have. With all that being said, this is what a leather worker had to say about the difference in Doc Martens. I'm Weston Kay, I'm a professional leather worker and I cut boots and shoes in half on YouTube. Yeah, I would say the production methods are really similar between the Asian made boots and the made in England boots. Um, they have a lot of the same features on the inside of how they stitch their boots are identical. The construction is really similar. They still heat sew the sole to the welt. I think a lot of the big differences between the vintage boots and the newer ones, it's, it's stuff that you would only notice if you cut it in half almost, or if you wore them for a long enough time. The vintage Doc Martens had a way better midsole that has a lot of comfort. They had a wooden shank and the leather was just a lot better. So they lasted longer, they're more comfortable, they have the support you need. The newer ones just have worse versions of the old ones materials. I wouldn't describe them as a super durable or long lasting boot, but a lot of people are just buying these boots because they're Doc Martens anyway. And they're gonna be comfortable, they're gonna last a decently long time, so most people are gonna be happy with them. He said everything is pretty much the same, and you will start noticing a difference if you wear it for longer periods of time. So I'm guessing maybe five to 10 years, that's where you start noticing a difference. But also he mentioned that the made in Asia ones, they use cheaper leather. For me, I don't know if that makes a bigger difference in the long haul, for example, two, three years down the line, or is it still like that five to 10 year difference? So my question to you is, has Doc Martin turned into every modern industry where quality has went down, but the cost is still going up? Maybe because of inflation and cost of living? Let me know in the comments below.